Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on histograms. This is the second video on this topic uh, and again we're going to be looking at another exam style question uh, so let's get straight to it. The histogram on the right shows the times taken to complete a quiz. 44 people took between 0 and 1.5 minutes. How many people took between 3 and 4 minutes? So in order to answer this question uh, we need to work out what area is represented by one person. Um, so the question says that 44 people took between 0 and 1.5 minutes. So how many squares are in that time frame? Well, uh, from 0 to 1 minutes, we've got 10 squares across and 12 squares tall. Uh, so this area is 10 times 12, which is 120 squares. And then between 1 and 1.5 minutes, uh, so that's not the whole of this column. It's only from uh, the left-hand side to where I've drawn the red line. Uh, well that's 5 squares across and it's 20 squares tall uh, so therefore that's an area of 5 times 20 which is 100 squares uh, so between one, uh, sorry, between 0 and 1.5 minutes we have 120 plus 100 squares uh, which is 220 squares uh, so 220 squares sorry let me rub that out so 220 squares equals 44 people uh, so therefore uh, we need to divide 220 by 44 to find out how many squares is represented by one person so 220 divided by 44 is 5 uh, so therefore one person, I'll write this up here equals 5 squares so now we know how many squares is represented by one person we just have to find out how many squares there are between three and four minutes and that will tell us uh, how many people there are uh, so between three and four minutes is from here to here so that's 10 squares across and it's 11 squares tall so that's 110 squares in total which is just 10 times 11 uh, so therefore between three and four minutes there are 110 divided by five so as uh, one person is five squares and there's 110 squares uh, so that gives us 22 people. So there can be some quite challenging questions in histograms, so it's important that you get a lot of practice. You can do so with our online exam, it's available through our revision platform, and here you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on, as well as being able to view the work solutions. And now this is really useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you're weak on, and find out where your strengths lie as well. So if you're interested, then you can click the link below and it'll take you straight there.